The Tallow Candle by Hans Christian Andersen It sizzled and bobbled as the fire burnt under the cauldron. It was the tallow candle's cradle, and from the warm cradle the candle emerged, flawless, shining white and slender. It was shaped in a fashion which made everyone who saw it believe that it held the promise of a bright and glowing future, and the promise which everyone saw it verily were to uphold and fulfill. The sheep, an attractive little sheep, was the mother of the light, and the melting pot was its father. From its mother it had inherited its brilliant white body and a mite around the waistline, but from its father it had been given the desire for the flaming fire, which eventually would permeate it through bone and marrow and illuminate its life. Indeed, so it was created and developed, as it with the best, the brightest of expectations, embarked upon life. There it encountered so oddly many fellow creatures whom it engaged, for it wanted to familiarize itself with life and maybe thereby find a place into which it would best fit. But it thought much too well of the world. It only cared for itself and not the slightest for the tallow candle. For it could not comprehend what use it could be and therefore it sought to exploit it for its own gain, mishandled the candle. Dirty fingers left greater and greater stains on the unblemished tone of innocence. Eventually it was to vanish completely and become totally covered with dirt from the surrounding world that had come much too heavily in touch with it, much closer than the candle could endure, as it had been unable to tell pure from impure. Yet, deep inside, it was still innocent and unspoilt. Now the false friends saw that they could not reach the inside, and angrily they threw the light away as a useless trinket. But the dirty outer shell kept everyone good away. They were fearsome of becoming infected with a black collar, of becoming stained, and thus they kept away. Now the poor tallow candle stood so lonely and abandoned, it knew not which way to turn. It saw itself rejected by the good, and now realized that it only had been an instrument to further wickedness. It then felt so infinitely unhappy, because it had spent its life to no avail. Yes, even more so, it may have smeared the better in its association. It could not fathom why or to what end it had actually been conceived, why it should live on earth and maybe destroy itself and others. More and more, deeper and deeper it pondered, but the more it thought, the more despondent it became, as it was quite unable to find anything good, any real substance for itself, or see the purpose it had been given at birth. It was as if the black cover also had veiled its eyes. But then it came across a small fire, a tinder box. It knew the light better than the tallow candle knew itself, for the tinder box saw so clearly right through the outer shell, and there, inside, it found so much good. Therefore it drew closer to it, and bright suppositions awakened in the candle it lit, and the heart melted inside. The flame radiated as the joyous beacon of matrimony. Everything around became bright and clear, and it illuminated the way for its surroundings, its true friends, and with luck it now sought the truth from the spectacle revealed by the light. But also the body was strong enough to feed and carry the flaming fire. Drop after drop, like sprouts of new life, rolled down the candle, round and choppy, and with their bodies covered the dirt of the past. They were not merely the bodily, but also the spiritual reward of matrimony. And the tallow candle had found its true place in life, and had proven that it was a real candle, which kept shining to its own delight, and that of its fellow men.